So how about this question? 35-year-old male injured right shoulder playing basketball. He prints with significant pain at a, the arm abducted at 140 degrees. He's unable to lower his arm. Radiographs show that the humeral head has dislocated uh, in what direction? Uh, the uh, key point here, he presents to the ER because he can't get his shoulder out of abduction. So he's basically presenting to the emergency room like this, and he's on a stretcher. And so this is a rare shoulder issue, but it's tested, and it's when the shoulder joint comes inferior and the humeral head gets locked below the glenoid inferiorly. And this is called luxatio erecti, meaning the shoulder is erected inferior. Uh, and it's a rare, very rare type, but for some reason, uh, it's on the boards, uh, probably to be complete. And this is what it looks like here. It's an inferior dislocation of the glenohumeral joint. Um, it's significant loss of the static restraints as well as neurovascular uh, injury, especially the axillary nerve and maybe even vessels up front here, uh, such as uh, the axillary uh, artery and other structures anteriorly, including median nerve and axillary nerves. So you may be presented with a nerve issue as well uh, with this type of injury. Um, and this has the, because it has the greatest incidence of neurovascular injury of all the shoulder dislocations, uh, period. So just be careful of that one from a testing standpoint. Superior glenohumeral ligament, we know this resists translation in fairly at zero degrees. Uh, Tony went over this very well. I'd encourage you to review these again. Uh, to review posterior instability, that posterior band of the inferior glenohumeral ligament is the most important strain to posterior subluxation in 90 degrees of flexion and internal rotation. So we're flexing the arm forward, internally rotate. That's not more neutral, internally rotating or pushing that back. That's when the posterior band uh, is under stress. So here's luxatio. It presents with the arm overhead. This is a classic finding. They come into the they come into the emergency room. They just can't pull their arm down. And you can also get bony injuries and other problems. It's abduction, the elbow inflection to uh, because the you want to relax. The patient automatically relaxes these structures uh, in the humerus. Here's the inferior dislocation shown here again. It looks with this much with this much inferior dislocation. It just uh, this is not a typical posterior or anterior dislocation. Uh, and you can see the key here is the arm. Here's the bottom of the scapula, and that arm is almost, the humeral shaft is almost in line with it. So that's the key on this x-ray here you want to see is this kind of abducted. This is not an anterior or posterior dislocation. So uh, look at that picture and uh, understand that for luxatio. They may give you that. Um, MRI, I would absolutely do after we get this because the thing we need to rule out, and here's another board's question, is especially over the age of 40, with the shoulder dislocation, this is the most common issue that's missed or complications, a full thickness rotator cuff tear. And that's a question they may say, a 42-year-old comes into the emergency room, has an anterior dislocation, it's reduced. Uh, what are you concerned about at this point? Uh, you went under rehab, et cetera. Uh, get an MRI to rule out rotator cuff tear. That's the most common issue. Many times a 40, 42-year-old will not need surgery for the labrum, they'll need surgery or corrective uh, action for the rotator cuff. Luxatio, uh, we close reduce it, we immobilize it. We think about rotator cuff because it's so inferiorly dislocated, it oftentimes pulls off that rotator cuff. But even just with an anterior dislocation of the shoulder, which is much, much more common, especially in those over the age of 40, you want to think about rotator cuff tear. And here it is here, especially in older patients. But uh, as Tony and I will attest, that's not that old over the age of 40. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. We'd love to hear your thoughts and what you'd like to see next in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media.